some bok choy. I can't swing at all. Hi guys, welcome back to my vlog channel. I just made myself a coffee. It is currently a Sunday. My husband's home, my baby's upstairs with my husband. It is like, what time is it? It is 11, 14 a.m. To be honest, Sundays for us usually look really slow. Like we just take it like super slow and we just try to relax to be honest because we're usually really tired at this point. But I'm gonna make us breakfast and it's so funny because I feel like every time I vlog, it just happens to be the day that I just never have groceries. <laughs> which is great for me. I don't really have anything. I just basically have eggs. And then I found these tater tots. I'm gonna do like eggs, tater tots, and naan. I'm just gonna try to make it work. We'll just go with the flow. Yeah, I'm gonna make breakfast. Sundays are usually my chill days, but I also have a lot of work to do on Sundays because it's like my reset, my Sunday reset, if you shall say. In the mornings, I try to like just chill and relax. And then I make breakfast or lunch or brunch. And then I kind of do like a Sunday reset. And that's what I need to do today. Your girl needs to get this house in order before the week starts. Because my husband goes back to work tomorrow. And my son has no laundry. I have a bunch of laundry to do. And they're like, yeah. So I guess this video is actually going to be like a Sunday reset video. And I'm really excited because the last time I did a Sunday reset, I didn't have a baby. And this time I have a baby. So it's a lot different. And my Sunday resets look a lot different. Let's make breakfast. And then let's... let's Let's get going and drink my coffee. I think I this little lie. I can't sing at all. Okay, eggs are going. I also just have this naan cooking up. It's just like a pre-packaged naan. It's like $2 at Superstore, basically any grocery store. So looking tasty. <laughs> Okay guys, so this is how my food turned out. I have my coffee and this is my husband's food. He's already enjoying and he's drinking a literal Coke. Yep, that's my husband. You know, we're not having like any groceries in the house to make a nice breakfast. I feel like this is pretty good. Like I love dipping the hash, like these little, what are they called, tater tots into the egg yolk. That is so tasty. Mmm, so good. Okay, I'm gonna eat this and then we'll get into our Sunday reset routine and I'm gonna drink my coffee because it's so tasty. And my husband said he liked it and usually he doesn't like coffee. He's gonna enjoy his Coke. Okay guys, so Sundays are my son's laundry day. I usually wash mine and my husband's on Saturdays. I do my son's on Sundays. And sometimes, especially recently, his laundry routine has been a lot. Not really a lot, but like I have to de-stain it, then wash it and stuff, then put it away. But de-staining it, I can't just like throw it in the wash. I have to like sit down and like spot check everything. It's really important to me because he has such nice things. And one time I didn't de-stain his stuff, I forgot. Or I was lazy to be honest, and his clothes were just stained. 
stain and I could not get the stains out. This is his laundry. He has quite a bit. So I'm going to de-stain it. Okay guys, my camera totally died. So the position, like the angle is probably different. So sorry about that. But I don't know if this is weird or if it's just me, but I like to like, before I like to stain and wash his laundry, I like to like reposition all of his clothes, zip them up, untuck them for two reasons. One, because then I don't have to do it when his laundry's dried, which like just makes it quicker to put his laundry away. And two, it makes it easier for me to see the stain. So I like to like untangle everything, then to stain, then wash, then it, like I can put it away faster. But yeah, okay, let's de-stain. I just use the OxyClean Laundry Pre-Treat Stainer Removal and it seems to work good enough. Done stain removal. I like to usually let it sit and like, because I'm pretty sure it says to let it sit. Let stand for up to 10 minutes depending upon the severity of the stain. Yeah, so I'm gonna let them sit for a little bit. It needs to rest. I need like new stain removal. Okay, so this is his bookshelf. I just took like a bunch of books out because now that he's getting older, he can like, I want him to be able to not be like overwhelmed with books. So I only want to have like only one because before there was like a bunch stacked here. So I feel like this is better. And then I can also kind of rotate him through books so he doesn't get like bored. Just like how I'm doing with his toys, I'm doing like a toy rotation, one per shelf, and then I rotate them. I want to do the same with his books. So I just put out a few books for him to choose from. I was so happy because my sister gave me a bunch of these books. I think I only in this whole collection bought like three books and my sister gave me the rest. So that's really nice. But I think I want to like pick up his room and fix his toy rotation because his toys are everywhere. So let's do that next. Okay guys, so actually a quick change of plans. Amir is actually completely out of formula and like for his next bottle, there's no milk to give him. Like I have spare ones, but they're not the ones he usually drinks. So I'm going to run to Walmart quickly because I just remembered and he's napping right now. So I'm gonna leave him with my husband, run to Walmart and grab his formula. I cannot believe I forgot. That is not like me. I'm usually like on top of that. It just slipped my mind. So I need to run to Walmart and grab his formula. Okay guys, so I just, I'm gonna grab a few of their groceries, but I got his formula. And then I have to make his Easter basket. So I found these toys, I don't know, like I feel like I can do better than these, but I'm kind of short on time. But it's just a little phone and a little rattle just for his car, like toys. But I'm gonna keep looking, maybe I'll find something better. I can't decide. But yeah, okay, I'm gonna go grab a few other groceries. Okay, let's go. I'm back from Walmart. I just got a few things, the formula. And then we got my husband's milk. He's lactose free, so also the cheese we got is lactose free. We just got some bananas, some bok choy, cucumbers for a mirror, and avocados for a mirror. And lastly, we just got a chicken. So that's everything we got. I'm gonna put this all away and then let's go do his laundry and finish his nursery. But I'm happy I got these because I literally had no groceries. Let's put this away. Okay guys, so I just put his laundry in the washer. And if anyone's curious, I use the Dapple Baby Laundry Wash. Um, my son has sensitive skin, so I can't use like the regular like Tide Pods. If he didn't, I'm sure it'd be fine. But I just used this. And 
them. That's literally all I do. Let's go and organize his tour rotation. I love how literally in any room my lighting is just amazing. Like flawless, just so good, love it. Realized I forgot to update you guys on how I was in Walmart and I was looking at those like teeters and toys for him for his Easter basket for in the car. I decided not to get them because I originally I want the the mushy, it's called, it's by the brand name Mushy and it's a little cell phone. It has like those bop it, like where you push it. Same one as I showed you guys in Walmart, but like mushy one. They're just cuter and they're like $5 more. So I was like, you know, I'm just gonna make time to stop by West Coast Kids and grab that and maybe one other toy for his Easter basket. And then I basically have everything else that I can make it, which will probably be in the next vlog. I know he's a little baby and he honestly Honestly, doesn't really know what's going on, but I just want to create these memories more so for myself and he loves toys Like I guaranteed he'll love the toys and it's like a $20 basket Like I think it's totally worth it. But yeah, that was my update because I realized I didn't update you guys. Let's fix his toy rotation So that is like how I organize his toys. Then I have all of his, these are more like, I would call them educational toys. They're from Love Every or Panda Crate. So I would call those educational toys. But then like his like toys that aren't really educational, they're more just like random toys. Like for example, this apple, which is really cute and he actually loves it, but it's not really that. I've been currently shoving them in these cupboards and I just take them out for him. The rest of the toys in here are just like the stuff for my toy rotation that I'll switch out weekly. Once he starts playing with the toys more because right now he doesn't really play with the toys. But like, yeah, I just have other toys in here, like a bunch of toys from Love Every. We have like this one from Love Every. This slides up and then you take the balls, you kind of push it through like that. But I also store just like random things in it. So yeah, that is all I have to do. And other than that, his room is like picked up. <sighs> Feeling kind of like I got hit with a bit of tiredness and it's currently 2.20 p.m. But I need to go over my checklist and see what else I have to get done for today because Done. I'm kind of feeling tired now. Anyway, so yeah, I feel like that is like a typical Sunday for me. Sometimes I do do like a bit more catch up and stuff, but like I'm cool with taking it chill because Amir is teething. I'm not getting much sleep. So I am super happy to just like get the things done that need to get done. Like laundry was a big thing, tidying up his nursery and groceries. Like those are like my main things on Sunday. But okay, I'm gonna go cook dinner and I'm gonna end the vlog here. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below and say hi and subscribe to my channel because I'm working really hard and I want you guys to join my family. Like, say hi, you know? Join the fam jam. Okay, I need to like breathe. You know, my back's kind of hurting, so that's no fun, but okay. I'm gonna go cook dinner. I'll catch you guys in the next vlog. Bye, guys. I love you guys all so freaking much. Okay, bye for reals now.